This is a story I wanted to bring you from the Cobequid Pass, but high winds and whiteout conditions forced its closure. Just one of the problems that has plagued this multi-million dollar venture, another one is the cost of the decades-old public-private partnership. The tolls have never been popular. Protest groups sprang up long before the heavy equipment moved in, and politicians have taken their shots. But there was good reason to build something better than the stretch of the Trans-Canada called Death Valley by locals and recognized nationally as one of the most dangerous highways in Canada. But if you think tolls have gone to build it, maintain it, and run it, you're only half right. Red ink has been just as costly as the blacktop. As a public-private partnership, Ottawa and the province together contributed $55 million. Private investors kicked in another $66 million for a total of $121 million. Over 22 years, taxpayers have paid $30 million. That's to compensate for toll increases that were supposed to go ahead but didn't. Motorists have paid $350 million in tolls. Of that, roughly half has gone exclusively to cover interest on the loan. Tolls have paid for highway improvements, maintenance costs, and employee salaries, but that debt is the single largest item paid for by tolls. To date, $167 million has gone to pay interest payments alone, and private investors, well, they're still owed $30 million. It's that kind of interest payment that the Auditor General of the day warned the province about back when the road was still under construction. How do we know the people of Nova Scotia are getting uh, the best bang for their bucks? There's now enough money in reserves to pay off the debt, but last week the Minister of Transportation added another speed bump more work to be done before the tolls come off. Possibly the establishment of a, of a rest area in the, uh, uh, on the highway and uh, maybe establishing a satellite maintenance area, which would make it easier for us to get in there and uh, provide service when we're challenged by the weather. The local MLA for the area says neither is needed and the government should pay off the debt now. The debt could be paid today and the tolls should be removed. It's an unfair tax on the people that live north of the Cobequid Pass, including my residents and citizens in Cumberland North. Despite the fact there is enough money now to pay off the debt, if the province does it now before the end of the contract, it still will have to cover the full cost of borrowing, and that means another $10 million to those private investors. Jean-Laurent, CBC News, Halifax.